18 is a good number. And today I retire from pro football. You don't have to wonder if I'll miss it. Absolutely. Absolutely, I will. I miss that handshake with Tom Brady. I miss recapping the game with my dad. And checking to see if the Giants won. And calling Eli, as we're both on our team buses, it was just the right time. And maybe I don't throw as good or run as good as I used to, but I've always had good timing. So, Omaha. He is a two-time Super Bowl winner, an MVP, and a surefire Hall of Famer. In the state of Tennessee, though, he will always be the Vols' favorite quarterback. I see Will. Love that picture right there. Tennessee loves seeing Peyton back. And our Marty Smith got Peyton and Dale Jr. all together for what's sure to be one fun conversation. Here at Bristol Motor Speedway with Peyton Manning. Super Bowl champion. We'll get to that in a minute. Dale Earnhardt Jr., driver of the number 88 car. First, I just want to come to you, all right? Let's talk about the emotion of the past year for you. I can't imagine what it must have been like, ups and downs, highs and lows. How do you encapsulate that emotion, Peyton? There's no doubt it was a unique year, Marty. Uh, went through a lot, uh, injuries, uh, a lot of change, but uh, kept a good attitude the whole way. I uh, had a great bunch of teammates and coaches who had my back the whole way, which, uh, as Dale could tell you, uh, it's all about having good teammates and uh, guys that are pulling for you and all. Uh, all on your same side, not to use the uh, nationwide uh, plug right there, but uh, uh, it was special to be able to finish the season in the manner that we did. So uh, it's only the second off season I've ever started in a good mood after winning the Super Bowl, and it's been a fun off season. Obviously, I've uh, stopped playing, but I still feel I still am allowed to be a Super Bowl champion for another uh, couple of months, and uh, that's a good feeling. Why was retirement right for you? Well, I'm already, I played a long time, uh, gave it my all, and it just felt like the right time. Uh, you know, physically, um, uh, I had some things that were, uh, you know, just sort of changing the way that I was playing and uh, the way that we finished. Uh, uh, just felt like um, I left it all out there on the field and maybe couldn't give uh, couldn't give that same um, same production uh, anymore. So, uh, football was great to me. Uh, been here in Bristol for the past couple of days with some old Indianapolis Colts teammates, so the relationships that I've formed in the 18 years I've played are what I'll always uh, carry with me. Speaking of relationships, you guys have one based on a sponsor, but I imagine you must have had some time together earlier today. When Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Peyton Manning have a conversation, how's that go? <laughs> uh, it goes pretty good. I'm real curious as to what it's like in his world, and he's here to see what it's like in ours. And. Uh, we've we've ran into each other a time or two in the past and we talk about that a little bit but we're glad that he's here and I'm so awesome to have a relationship with Nationwide and that they've got a partnership with him uh, he's done such a great job as a spokesman for Nationwide and uh, I think we both learn a little bit from each other in that respect but we're glad to have him here uh, can't wait for him to see a show at Bristol hopefully we get the opportunity to talk to him afterwards and see what he thinks now this September there's going to be the battle at Bristol Virginia Tech versus your boys the Tennessee Volunteers you've raced here a hundred times you're a Tennessee guy what in the world should we expect from the battle at Bristol well this is my first time at this stadium but just driving in here this this looks like a football stadium, so I can't imagine uh, what it'll be like to have, to play in front of 160,000. So I'm excited that Tennessee's playing in it. It's a natural rivalry between those two schools uh, right here in Bristol, right in between Knoxville and Blacksburg. I'm going to be at the game, Marty. I'm kind of freed up in the fall now, so I'll be here uh, cheering my balls on. But uh, like Dale said, it's been great to uh, be here with him. And uh, Dale's obviously a huge Redskins fan, so he was uh, asking me how, how I thought the Redskins would do this. This year. He follows them real hard, but I'm no longer on a football team. I'm proud to be on kind of the nationwide 88 team for, uh, right now and uh, 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 real proud of the association. So what did he tell you about the Redskins? <laughs> uh, he likes Kurt, so that's all that matters. We need, you know, every team was, likes to get a great quarterback and a, and a steady guy behind the center and there are not many of them floating around in the league. So I think we're lucky to have Kurt and right. looking forward to the season. Peyton, there aren't very many guys who get to go out when they want to go out. You did, and Kobe Bryant just scored yeah. 60 in the last game he'll ever play in the NBA. What's your impression of his career? Well, I mean, obviously, uh, it's, it's what everybody's impression is. He's been one of the great competitors of all time, 20 years uh, with one franchise, which I have a great appreciation for. And you talk about giving everything he had, leaving it all out there. Nobody did that better than Kobe Bryant. So 
I was happy to see him go out with a bang uh, the other night. I watched the game, and uh, like I said, just having played 18 years, I know how hard he has worked, how much he has sacrificed to be such a consistent player for 20 years for the Los Angeles Lakers. And uh, congratulations to Kobe on an unbelievable career. 96 Bulls versus current Warriors. Who you got? I got to go with Curry, man. He's a North Carolina guy. You? We're going with the Bulls. I like the Bulls. I like the Bulls. I like it. All right, last thing. And this is like the question everybody wants answered from the Super Bowl. How is it that after you win the Super Bowl and you're riding off into the sunset, a world champion, the first person that gets to high-five you is Papa John. <laughs> he was down there on the field. John's been a great supporter of mine. Uh, obviously, a lot of people down there. I was high-fiving everybody that night, Marty, I can assure you. So uh, it was a fun night, no doubt about it. We appreciate your time very much, Thanks. young man. Good luck today, sir. Guys. Thank you, Marty Smith, so much. <laughs> you been planning that? Did, did Peyton get to go to the Marty party, while. the big 4 Marty party? I don't know, but I'm afraid Marty's head's going to be way too big for us to even have him on the road with us anymore. He's kind of a big deal. It's partly your fault. I love How him. How was my singing? I thought it was good. Not good.